Hi everybody, it's Carrie from South Fayette and Bridgeville Public Library, and it's time for Quarantined DIY! Today what we'll be making is print making art, which is really cool because it's similar to making stamps, but we're going to be using things from your house, which is awesome. Now that you know what you'll need, I'm going to start by using a baking tin. So this is a muffin tin, and the reason why I choose this one, or I chose a muffin tin, is because it makes circular art, which is pretty cool. So all you'll need is your muffin tin, and then a little glob of paint. I'm using acrylic because this is what I have at home, but you can use any type of paint that you have at home. I'm going to use blue and I'm going to use green. And then all you have to do is get a little messy and just glob it around. And then you can either use your fingers or you can use a Q-tip to make designs into it. Or if you really want to challenge yourself, you can make different designs in cardboard by cutting out the jagged designs and then use it on your paint to get different designs into them. And then once you're done making your design, you just take a piece of paper and then you just plop it on, put a little pressure down, and then you peel it back up like that. And see I have my first print. And what's really cool is that these are called mono prints. That means one print. So I can only ever make one print that looks the same with this. If I put it back down onto my paint, that's called a ghost print, and it won't look the same. So see I have this print, which was my original, I have the second ghost print, and then this is my third ghost print. They all look very different from each other, which is pretty interesting. And then, that's all there is to it. You can use a baking tin, you can use a plastic baggie that you have at home, and the really nice thing about this is that you can reuse any of these materials, which is awesome. So feel free and experiment with different objects like cotton balls or like the cardboard that we talked about or Q-tips or other things that you have at home with your parents' permission, of course. And make sure to post your pictures in the comments because I would love to see what you're making at home. Or if there's other things that you want us to be making or doing, please tell us in the comments because we are here for you. So glad that you watched this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week for Quarantined DIY.